Hi guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a tone control circuit with ICTL072 for excellent sound quality. This is a complete circuit, compact but full of charm. The circuit uses an input voltage of 12 volts with two outputs, the input signal is amplified and the tone is adjusted before reaching the power circuit. The sound quality of the circuit can be adjusted through the potentiometers. This is a 200 watt power circuit using 220 volts input that I showed you from previous videos. Now I will combine the two circuits together. Thus we will have a portable audio power circuit with adjustable audio output. In order of potentiometer from left to right the screen is bass, mid, treble. I will guide you in detail on how to install and calibrate the circuit after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. One fact about them, JLCPCB is the largest PCB prototype and supplier in China. With over 10,000 online orders per day. The product capacity is over 620,000 square meter one layer or two layer pcb upload the gerber files to get pcb with high quality and low price here is the schematic diagram of the circuit the circuit is shared by an author from russia the input source of the circuit is from 6 volts to 20 volts dc the input voltage is flattened and reserved in a 220 microfarads 25 volt capacitor. You can use 470 UF itself instead. A 100 NF non-polarized capacitor is used to filter out the noise. This is a printed circuit of a circuit, designed on one layer, you can download it in the description. Or order printed circuit from JLCPCB. The circuit is designed with two audio inputs and two outputs. This is the result after one week, printed circuit from JLCPCB, in its very nice and professional. This is a circuit full of components, such as resistors and capacitors. Resistors and capacitors are common, you can remove them from old machines or buy them at electrical stores. Three potentiometers are all 50 kilo ohm, used to adjust frequency ranges such as bass, mid, treble. After the circuit is complete, we proceed to check if there are no short-circuited components or wrong installation. We will attach LM358 and proceed to supply 12 volts to the circuit. All the components on the circuit you can buy from outsource.net, most of the components I use are ordered from them. This is the official website of utsource.net. Here you can buy most electronic components such as MOSFET, sensor, transistor, diode. You just need to type the name of the component in the search bar, you will get the results and the price almost immediately. Refer to the website link in the description for more details. The input supply voltage of the circuit is 12 volts. Pay attention to the correct polarity, if wrong, the circuit will be damaged immediately. After the power supply, we will measure the voltage between pin 8 and pin 1. 
between pins 1 and 4 LM358. The voltage between them must be equal to one half of the input voltage, about 6 volts. Then we will continue to measure the voltage between pin 8 and pin 5. Between pins 5 and 4 of the TL072. The voltage between them should be half of the supply voltage, about 6 volts. After checking is done. We will attach two TL072 ICs and power the circuit. You can replace TL072 with equivalent ICs like JCR4558, NE5532. Each different type of IC will give a different sound experience. I showed you how to make a tone control circuit combined with a 200W audio amplifier. Thanks for watching my video. Good luck.